Welcome to the warm-up at Ottawa Glandorf, brought to you by Coles Market. I'm Mark Kuntz. Andy Lynch will be joining us a little bit later on as we start talking Titan football. And we're joined now by a couple of the seniors on this year's Ottawa Glandorf football team. Sid Menning, a tight end, a defensive end, and Colin Lobenthal, a wide receiver and a cornerback. And first off, Sid, I suppose it just was a good feeling this morning to, to get out there and start the football season in earnest. Oh, yeah, it's a good feeling just to get out in the football field, just starting to actually do some football, starting to practice, and just can't wait for the football season to start. Colin, was it a, a nervous sleep last night? Were you anxious to get out here and start going? Well, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but it was definitely there. I uh, could see that it was going to be difficult to get home at the right time, but made it happen. Speaking of getting home at the right time, last year, Ottawa Glendorf football did not get home at the right time. Snapped an eight-year playoff streak. I'm sure sitting at home week 11 is an experience, a feeling that you guys do not want to repeat this season. No, it's, it's something we need to make a change, and I think we can do that this year. Colin, a little bit of a young team last year. Do you have some experience coming back now? Oh, yeah. Uh, last year, we had a lot to replace after the really great year, and we just had so many young people try to step up and we did as much as we could, but it just wasn't enough. Sid, what was the summer like for the Titan program? I thought it was a fairly uh, productive summer. I mean, we had gotten a lot better over the uh, course of the summer, and I think we can potentially get a lot better throughout the uh, football season. Colin, what did you see over the summer that has, some, has you with some high hopes for this year? Well, first of all, over the summer at lifting, there was excellent attendance. Everyone showed up. Everyone did what they were supposed to do. And we had a coach return to us, Jay Miller, who uh, – took a leave to go for his job, and I'm really glad he came back because he's really helping us out this year. Sid, you look at the Western Buckeye League, a lot of coaching changes, a lot of younger coaches in the league, an older staff, an experienced staff here with the Titans, led, of course, by Ken Schreiner. How much faith do you guys have in this coaching staff? Oh, plenty. I mean, these are the excellent coaching staff, the best coaches, I believe, in the Western Buckeye League. I just couldn't ask for anything better. Colin, week one, you guys open up on the road against Oak Harbor. I'm sure that's the focus right now, but what are some of the other games you're looking forward to this year? Well, really just every one of them. I would have to say that uh, Walpock really stands out as a team that uh, last year was a close game to start, and then we just let it get away from us somehow. But Walpock and just defiance, really I could go on and on about teams that just I want to look, look at the whole time, but you just can't look over anybody. They're all... I got Ottawa Glandorf on the warm up brought to you by Coles Markets. It's the head coach Ken Schreiner, 19th season. Is that right here in Titanland? Yeah, 19 seasons, and uh, you know things fly. It's uh, it's amazing. It seems like just yesterday was my first year here, and uh, you know trying to get things organized for the first time, and uh, <laughs> you know things have progressed, and uh, you know we're excited to be here, and uh, we're excited to start a 19th season. It, it's a long August. We talked about that. The first game's at the very end of the month. Do you change the way you approach things? I mean, you want to get as much work in as possible, but there's a lot of days to fill of practice time. You know, there are. You look at two a days and the amount of time that we're going to spend out here, uh, you know, but overall, you've got to use your time wisely. You know, you've got to structure your time where you're, you're pushing to get the kids in shape, get them in game shape. Uh, you're trying to implement all the things you do offensively and defensively. And, you know, we've got a lot of challenges ahead of us. We're willing, we're, we got our feet on the ground now. We're going to get things rolling and uh, hope for the best. 21 seniors or so. Tell us about this class. What characterizes them? You know, this is a group that's uh, very athletic. Uh, you know, they've played a lot. Uh, they may not have been named as starters, but uh, a lot of them have experience as sophomores and uh, last year as juniors. Uh, you know, many of them been on the field. Again, if they weren't named a starter, they probably still have a lot of quality game time. So, you know, we have high expectations. I think we've got good athletes. We've got guys that can handle the ball. Uh, up front is going to be our biggest challenge. You know, we've got to get guys that are solid up front that can move people off the ball, de play defensively, uh, you know, hustle to the ball, and, uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. Had a nice stretch there of playoff runs, and then last year, of course, that came to an end. A tough region, six and four record. Has that been a, an ongoing theme throughout the off season? We got to get back. You know, our, our theme for this year is, uh, you know, don't let good enough be enough. And, uh, you know, the challenge for our kids is uh, to work a little bit harder and, uh, you know, to accept the coaching and, and do the things that are necessary to get back on top. That's our goal is uh, we want to compete every single time we're out on the field. We want to make sure that we go out and challenge teams and, uh, you know, hopefully we can compete for the league title and uh, hopefully we can make the playoffs come the end of the season. 
Last season, you were the least penalized team in, in the Western Buckeye League. I'm sure you wanted more wins, but that kind of discipline certainly makes a coach happy. It does. You know, discipline-wise is always important, but uh, you'd like to see a little bit more aggressiveness as well. Cut. But, you know, play the game the right way, and that's what we challenge our kids to do. You know, I'd, I'll take penalties if, uh, if there's something wrong, but you want your kids to play the right way. And, uh, you know, I was not aware that that was a stat that was kept, in, uh, kept very closely. It's amazing but, what uh, the Internet gives you. It is. Uh, <laughs> You've done your homework, but uh, you know overall, I think our kids do things the right way, and and our coaches do a fantastic job of preparing our kids, and that's probably a credit to them as well. What position battles are really the hottest? Would you say going into August? Well, I would probably name eleven guys on offense and eleven guys on defense. There you go. I, that's my expectation. Yeah. I want our kids to come on the field every single day and compete. And and I told our guys early on in the in the, uh, in the summer that. You know, the guys that started last year, that doesn't mean that's a safe job. We need to come out here every single day and, and work hard and try and compete. And we're going to put the best 11 guys on the field at all times. And, you know, the key is you also have to have strength in backups. You've got to have guys that are willing to come out and play and come out and perform in practice. And, uh, you know, if somebody goes down and, you know, unfortunately, we've already we're already looking at an injury here in day one. And, uh, you know, we've got to, guys, got to have guys step up and, and be prepared. You obviously don't want injuries at all, but. What does that do to, to the start of camp when a guy you know rolls an ankle? Who knows how bad it is? You know, you you look at a, an injury and you look at the demeanor of your team. And uh, you know, he's a senior. Nathan Alt uh, went down with an injury. We don't know exactly what the status is. I mean, it was 15, 20 minutes ago. But uh, you know, that's got to be the challenge: is how do your kids carry themselves? How do they uh, you know rely on their training and and see how they react to something like that? Let's talk about the scrimmages. You go to Perrysburg in a couple Fridays, and then. Uh, Second one against St. Henry, two good tests uh, in the preseason. Always, you know, Perrysburg's got a got a very solid team back. Uh, we know that uh, they're very athletic on offense. They're they're very aggressive on defense, and you know that's a good challenge for us. They're a Division One school. Right. We're a Division Five school, and uh, you know we want to go out and, and compete against the best. And uh, you know we always know going up there, they they've got a coach that has been there for four or five years, and they're getting much more physical in what they do. Uh, so that's an outstanding challenge for us right off the bat. And you know to be able to compete with St. Henry. St. Henry's a team with a, obviously a storied tradition, and uh, you know it's always a tough. Physical battle, and uh, you know they've got a coach that's in his second year, and you know it's uh, Brad's doing an outstanding job down there, and I expect higher higher things from them this year as well. Oak Harbor's the opener, no more Fostoria. Oak Harbor's been in the playoff mix every year. Last year, their five losses were all to playoff teams, so stepping up a little bit perhaps for that opening week? No doubt about it. Uh, Oak Harbor is a team that's led by a, a kind of a local guy or at least has a little bit of local experience. Mike May was at uh, St. Mary's as a defensive coordinator under Doug Fry for a number of years and uh, you know he's doing some good things up there. If you look at the level of competition that they play, it's a Sandusky Bay Conference. It's a very similar conference to the WBL. I have a little experience from my high school days in that league right. and I've seen them and uh, you know we know that they're going to be a tough physical team. Uh, Coach May is a, is a defensive guy so he's, he's He's going to get them prepared very well defensively and uh, you know our kids need to know that that we're going to step up this is going to be a, a game that's much more similar to what we're going to face throughout the year and uh, we better be ready to go do you start looking at them right now? Are you putting things in in practice right away? You know, we made an agreement, and Mike May is a, is a friend of mine, and uh, we talked in the off season, so we have exchanged films, and you know, we're starting to look at things. And in the summer, our coaches met and we talked about a number of different things. So, yeah, we are starting to prepare and, and do whatever we can to get our team ready for that game. Perhaps the most important game of the season happened last night: the coaches versus players volleyball matchup for the 19th straight year. The coaches. We're victorious because of a ringer, new coach you brought on. You know, it was uh, it's a combination. It's pure <laughs> athleticism on the coach's part. And, uh, you know, we didn't even have to cheat a whole lot this year. <laughs> but, uh, you know, our coaches, we go out there, we give it our all. And, uh, you know, for 19 years straight, we've come out on top. And it was a sad day for the seniors. You know, they, they hung their heads a little bit. But, uh, you know, hopefully they find a way to rally and prepare for football season. Why volleyball? Why not another sport? Well, realistically, the coaches don't have to move a whole lot. I think it's probably <laughs> the best thing I can say. And tall guys like myself, you know, might have a little bit of an advantage as well. All right, Coach Schreiner getting ready for the opener with Oak Harbor. It's still four weeks away, but we're still excited for it. We'll have a couple Ottawa Glendorf games on WOSN this year when Salina comes to town. Also, uh, the big one against Kenton. When we return on the warm-up, we'll be joined by three more players as Mark Koontz returns here. Brought to you by Coles Market on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Coles Market. We are joined now by three more Titan seniors, Ben Recker, Jason Schnipke, and Brad Recker down on the end. And 
First off, Ben and Jason, we'll start with you guys. You're both on the offensive line. Coach mentioned that's an area that you guys need to work on. Is that a challenge, you guys taking that personally, to, to make sure this Titan line lives up to the, the Titan lines of the past? Yeah, we are always just come out every day, try to work hard. We had always had good lines in the past, and we just try and live up to their expectations. Jason, is, is that tradition of that good line? Is that something you guys can feed off of? Oh, yeah, we're really trying to push our underclassmen, trying to get a few guys to step up here and there just to fill our open spots. Brad, tell us about what uh, you guys have from the skill positions on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, we're kind of sticking to our theme of pursuing excellence. And, uh, you know, we're going to work every day, get better. And uh, we won the 7-on-7 seven seven in the summer. So uh, I think we'll do pretty good this uh, coming fall. Quarterback position at this point, uh, do you have any insight as to what we can expect? You know, it's up to the coaches, and uh, we'll see what they pick. Jason, let's talk a little about defense for OG. Is that going to be a strength this year for the Titans? I think our defense should be pretty well, do pretty well. We can, uh, I think we'll fly to the ball pretty well, be able to get some turnovers, be able to make some big hits. Ben, 20 seniors on this team, core group that have been playing together for a while. Can you draw on that strength, having that experience with these guys? Yeah, definitely. We have really good chemistry. Everyone likes each other. We're all friends. We're all brothers. We all just get along well, and it's going to be really good for our football team. Brad, coach said the theme this year is do, don't let good enough be enough. What does that mean to you? You know, it means uh, going out here every day and giving it your best and uh, never giving up. Jason, as you look at the, the WBL this year, where do you think OG is going to fit into that conference? I think we could be pretty – we'll be up in the upper half, I think, be able to pull out some wins that people don't expect. Ben, what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? We're all strong across the board, I think, and – Definitely last year our defense was our strength, especially our running defense, and I think we can keep that up. we got great coaching staff, and we got people that are just willing to push and every, give everything they got. Jason, is there a lot of motivation over missing out the playoffs last year? Oh, yeah, everyone's pushing harder, trying to get back. Brad, what has pushed you guys over the summer? Um, you know, just that remembrance of not making the playoffs, you know. We really want to get there this year, and, you know, we're working hard in the weight room, and... We're striving to get better. Finally, each of you guys can answer this one. What, what, is, what do you like about football? Why do you come out? Why do you bust your butts through two days to play this game? I think it's the people that I'm around, you know. I wouldn't want to play any other sport with uh, these guys. You know, I love them. It's just what I love to do. My friends all do it. My parents love it. I was just born to play it, I guess. There's no better feeling than when you get a big hit on the football field and all your teammates are around you and you're just having fun and you're just beating up on the other team. It's just the best feeling in the world. Big hit on the football field, Colts market, a big hit off the football field. I want to thank them for sponsoring tonight's warm-up with the Otto Glandor football team. Randy Lynch and all of our guests here on the warm-up, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on WSL.